going on guys? Uh, I'm going to do a uh, car ride review on the exhaust that I'm running. I'm running a uh, Stainless Works headers, long tubes with Stainless Works exhaust on an X-pipe. Uh, had a couple uh, people ask me to do like a little review, especially like on highway, just kind of what it sounds like on the inside. So uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to talk a little about uh, the drone issues that some people have been talking about. So, um, I currently haven't been, uh, I haven't been having, uh, some of the problems. that most people are talking about. Uh, sorry, I had to do a couple adjustments on the camera. This is kind of a not very even road. Um, <clears throat> so the exhaust, uh, I love it. Uh, the drone, I feel it has settled like quite a bit. Um, it doesn't have that annoying drone that it had when we first installed it. Um, it, it still drones a little bit. Um, if you were to kind of compare it, it still kind of has that, uh, you can tell it's aftermarket, but it's not, it's not annoying, especially in the cab. Uh, the most drone that you're going to get is about, uh, 60 miles an hour. That's, that's when you're going <coughs> to, excuse me, that's when you're going to receive the most drone out of this car. So we're gonna jump on the highway here. Could be like the best Mustang yet. Underneath the bridge. That's what's up. We're gonna wait for this car. Okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna shoot it up to ninety. Not too bad. 
thousand RPMs. Cruising. Doing seventy now. The drone has settled a lot. Uh, I probably put almost uh, two thousand miles on the exhaust since uh, I've had it installed. And when I noticed that the drone was starting to settle, it was probably about 600, 800 miles. And then once I reached a thousand miles, it was, it, that's kind of like when it broke in. That's when I feel like it broke in, was, uh, was that a thousand miles. Like before, when uh, when I first got it installed, <laughs> the drone was so bad, you would have to turn the radio all the way up so the radio would be over the drone. Now it's now you can turn the music up and you can hear the music over the drone as you're cruising or whatever. But I will say though, if you get on this car, like you're cruising down the highway and you want to pass somebody, you know, you drop a gear, you go from sixth to fifth. It's gonna make some noise. I mean, when you're getting on this car, this this exhaust is not it's not quiet. Um, the drone has settled. You're still gonna get some drone. It doesn't even if you go with like a Roush, you're still gonna get some drone. Um, a lot of people were saying though that stainless works. It has more drone than most exhausts. From my experience, yes, when it has this exhaust has like a breaking point, and then it's gonna like it's gonna break into it's gonna break in. I don't really have any complaints at all. Absolutely love it. It's badass. This is this is an honest review about it. I'm not I'm not gonna hide anything from this exhaust. We're doing about 80 miles an hour right now. 83. I live in Texas, so everybody hauls ass. Doesn't matter where you're going. Everybody, everybody does about 80, 85 miles an hour. So I'm doing about 85 right now at 2,500 RPMs. So everybody's main concern is drone. And this car, the drone had settled a lot. So I have good news though for uh, all the all my subscribers. Uh, uh, a couple videos ago, I talked about uh, I ordered a bunch of subframe stuff because I want to go to the track. Uh, the track is uh, supposed to open sometime this month. Uh, about a month and a half ago, uh, I ordered iBox springs and iBox sway bars. They are finally, finally, finally. <laughs> on the way. Um, I'll order them from American Muscle. Uh, they were just on back order, like I was talking about in some of my videos. It's just, since these cars are so new and they're they're hot now, it, you know, getting, getting modifications for these cars, it's, I mean, you're on a waiting list. Uh, you know, they'll get, you know, a lot of, a bunch of people are pre-ordering from, from American Muscle and they'll get a shipment in and, you know, if they only get, you know, a limited supply at a time those people that have been waiting it's kind of like a first come first serve kind of basis on on some of their products that they're selling so uh and i ordered a uh i ordered a pro kit and basically what that is is i paid 700 bucks for lowering springs and sway bars so that could have been a thing too they have uh just springs that you can buy um for this car you know they're like 240 bucks or whatever and you can get those like that, but like their little package deals, it's for some, you know, that's what, I mean, it's, you know, that's a deal right there. I mean, I paid 700 bucks for, and that's the front sway bar and the rear sway bar. And four springs. But anyway, so I got all my Stita stuff. Uh, I got my bushings, I got my braces, and I got my vertical, my vertical links. So, Oh yeah, I cannot wait. So I'll be doing a video about that too. Weather in Texas. 
taxes have been really, really shitty for the past few months. It's been cloudy, gloomy, it's been raining a whole bunch. This has been the first week that it's been like mostly sunny all week, so there's just a bunch of traffic out, everybody's doing things, going to the river, going to the lake. about the drone with stainless works in my opinion you know it doesn't really matter what exhaust you run or what headers you run you're gonna you're gonna have some drone now depending on how bad it is depends on you know if, it, if and when it breaks in I can just tell you from my experience with stainless that it did break in and it took about a thousand miles for the exhaust to break in So. And it's weird, a lot of people will, you know, bring out their cameras, like if you go shopping anywhere at all, like me and my, uh, my wife, we went, uh, we went downtown, and I'm telling you, it's just, just people are taking pictures. I mean, they get out the cameras and you know, it's like, they act like you're driving a Lamborghini or something. And it's like, I paid $37,000 for this car. This car is not an exotic import at all. I mean, it's no Lambo. <laughs> but these people, they're nuts about it. They love it. Uh, it's awesome, it is, but it's, it's crazy. Like I still get people just, you know, stare you know, as you're driving by and their head just kind of follows the car, it's funny. You know, then they'll bring out their cameras and they want to take pictures. I get stopped all the time. Well, not by cops, but like I'll be cruising or whatever and I'll come, I'll come aside like another Mustang or whatever and uh, that's how I went to my first meet. Actually, it's a funny story. Uh, there was another guy, he had a 13 Coyote and uh, I, uh, I was cruising, you know, it was like, it was, uh, it was in the city. I was doing about 30 miles an hour and he pulled next to me 
and he was like, hey, you know, he gave me, he's like, hey, pull over, I want to check out your car. I was like, cool, you know, whatever. I don't care. So, and then, yeah, we started talking and stuff, and next thing you know, I'm going to a meet. So, it was pretty cool. But all right, guys, I think I'm a, I think that's good for now. Uh, if anybody has any questions or whatever, uh, y'all know what to do. Y'all can subscribe, like my videos. I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more, uh, I guess, vloggish videos uh, when I get all my uh, subframe stuff and springs and sway bars installed. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, appreciate y'all watching my videos and stuff. Any questions, I'm down. If anybody wants to see a video, just let me know. Peace.